Hey everyone, it's Dev Stack. So in the last video, I already told that I'm going to provide you a GitHub repo link of the client side code. For our socket IO chat server, we need a client side code for the testing and we are going to use the React for the testing only. So here is the GitHub repo link and you will find this GitHub repo link on the video description. So after getting the GitHub repo link, what you have to do that you have to go on a code and you have to copy this HTTPS link. Okay. But before I will give a procedure that how you can download it and set up this client side code. I'm going to give you a demo that how it will work. So let me give you a demo that how it will work. So in the client side code, after downloading and running the client side code, you will get two pages. The first page is the link of localhost colon 3000. Actually, it's not a localhost colon 3000. It's a HTTP colon slash slash localhost colon 3000. So in the first page of the localhost colon 3000 is the send message page where you can send the messages. And there is another page. The link of this page is the HTTP colon slash slash localhost colon 3000 slash get messages. In this page, you are going to receive all the messages that you will submit here in the send message page. So if I will send the hey, then you will receive hey over here. So these are the two pages as of now. I'm going to work on this react test chat UI also, and I will update the code on the same GitHub repo link. So whenever I will upload a code, then I will let you know. And the procedure will be the same that I am following over here. That first, you have to go here and copy the HTTPS GitHub remote link. Okay, then open your empty folder on your IDE. The IDE can be anything. I'm just using the VS Code IDE and in the VS Code IDE, I have the integrated terminal. And in the integrated terminal, what you have to do that this is an empty folder. I don't have anything here. And I'm just going to initialize an empty git repository with help of the git init. To initialize an empty git repository, what you need, you need just a git installed on your local system. If you don't have installed the git on your local system, follow the video link provided in the description that how you can install and set up the git on your local system. After hitting the command git init, what you have to do? You just have to add the remote GitHub link. Okay, so git remote add origin and the link you just copied and hit the enter. Now, what you have to do, you just have to pull the code using the git pull origin master. I have plan to upload a series on the git also that will cover the topic related to the git and github if you are interested please comment it down that you are interested on that kind of series and now we downloaded our code and you can see the code over here that all the code are here now what you have to do just after downloading the code you have to run the npm install to download the all the dependency which I provided on the package.json file. So it will take some time to download all the dependency till that I'm the pausing the video. It will download all the dependency and after that the node module will be created over here. So let's wait. So the all the dependency are downloaded. That's why the node module is created over here. All the dependency you can find inside the node module, the React Xs and all those kind of thing is now downloaded and you don't need to bother about the code you just have to follow these steps after downloading the all the dependency the third step is to start the server using the npm start so it will start the website and at the initial it will take again some amount of time and after that the web page will be hosted on your default browser so it is taking some time to start the server and now you can find that the first page of the message you can see over here and to 
navigate on to second page you just have to type the get message and here is the second page which means the setup is now successfully completed and now you can use this code and the last thing i want to let you know that after i will upload the code in this github repository then you have to follow the two step only that you have to follow the git pull origin master again when i will upload the new code because you have to pull all the changes from the this remote repository to your local git repository and you can do it using the git pull origin master and after pulling the new code you just have to run the npm install again so if i will make any changes on the dependency then you have to run this npm install that will download the other dependency too then you just had to start the server using the npm start so that's it there is no any difficulty to following this step so whenever i will upload the code i will let you know on that video itself and other thing you can do that you can give a star and you can click on here so whenever i will upload a new code over here then automatically it will let you know that i uploaded the code and also if you want to follow me then you can follow me over here in this github okay so i am just uploading the code on related to the javascript and the flutter so whenever i will create a new repository then automatically you will get know that i created a new repository so you can follow me you can give a start to the react chat repository and you can click on this watch to stay updated thank you all and before moving further please don't forget to subscribe the video also like and share the video so thank you all and see you on a next video